Frank here. A real topsy-turvy game last weekend, um, but we've seen this squad bounce back from disappointment before. Yeah, I mean, we're young and we're hungry and uh, we're still learning all the time and, yeah, it wasn't the result we wanted after having such a strong foothold in the game and we're disappointed, but, um, you know, we'll take the lessons learned from the game and, and the positives as well. There were plenty of positives in the game as well and take it to Saturday's game against Forest. Yeah. Derby County, of course, they beat Cardiff City last night. It just makes the task a little bit more difficult. But is the belief still there? Are you keeping the faith that you can still make the playoffs? Yeah, we've always kept the faith. For whatever reason, sometimes it's not happened or we haven't had the result that we wanted. But listen, we can only control what we can control and we'll control our game on Saturday and hopefully get the three points. Of course, a top half finish uh, is, is guaranteed anyway. So progression from last year is clear to see. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, um, someone just asked me before when I did the other press about this time last year, what we have to go into the Brighton game to get a get a win, and um, it's a different type of pressure. And um, if you'd have said, you know, this time last year would have been at this end of the of the table, I'd have took it with both hands, and you know, still with a fighting chance of getting in the in that last uh, playoff spot. So we still got we still got half a chance. Well, we've got more than half a chance. So. Um, no, it's been a topsy turvy twelve months, but uh, uh, twelve months that we've gone in the right direction. Yeah. Uh, looking to Nottingham Forest this weekend. Of course, you beat them last time out. How do you see it going this weekend? Well, um, they've had a positive result last night. Um, mm. I couldn't dodge a question about Lee Tomlin, but you know, um, he's obviously scored one and set one up as well last night. So we know we'll work on their strengths and we'll work on the weaknesses like they will against us. And um, they're a team in transition at the minute, I think. And um, we'll just try and be positive and get a result. Yeah, their the, the form's been a bit up and down. So they come into the, they'll go into this game off, off the back of a win, um, of course. But when you look at the league standings, they haven't really got too much to play for. Obviously, City have. So I know, but you know, you want to end the season on a high. They want to end the season on a high, and they want to go into the summer. With, you know, they'll think it's a game they can win. We think it's a game we can win. So. You know, anyone can beat anyone in the championship and we'll fully believe that we can get the three points. Uh, Lee Tomlin, is he, is he, will you he be catching up with a, with a few of the squad this weekend? Uh, maybe afterwards, yeah, you know. <laughs> strictly professional before the game and uh, he'll be focused, obviously. He'll probably want to try and get one on over us, but, you know, we're, we're, due, we're due a good result soon, so we're looking forward to it. Yeah. And 1,200 fans guaranteed. Tickets only went on sale, I think, 24 hours ago. It just goes to show how much the fans you know, are keeping the faith, how much they're going to be roaring you on to the end. Absolutely. Fans have been tremendous this season and uh, we're full force everywhere we go, to be fair, and we can't thank them enough.